Tonight, four women who are AC Transit employees are suing, claiming the transit agency discriminates against women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Night piece Kristen Ayers is in Oakland, and two of the women told her their stories tonight. The women in the lawsuit claim AC Transit put them in an impossible situation, forcing them to choose between career and family. Now, the way I feel, I don't want any more children. It was just way too much. Bus driver Jada Edwards says AC Transit is the reason she won't have another child. She says in the months leading up to her maternity leave, she drove an aging bus and was regularly exposed to carbon monoxide fumes that made her drowsy. She says when she asked to switch to a newer coach, nothing happened for weeks. I ended up having an accident. I fell asleep behind the wheel and rear-ended someone else's car. Jada claims things only got worse when she came back from leave. She says AC Transit gave her a shift that allowed her to lactate for a few months. But after that, her shift changed. For hours each day, she says she was trapped behind the wheel, unable to lactate, and was forced to stop in a public restroom, manually pumping just enough to ease the pain. I, I wouldn't use the milk because it was very unsanitary in most public restrooms. Jada and three other women claim in a class action lawsuit that what happened to her was no exception. Nikki Minolti claims she too experienced carbon monoxide poisoning while driving pregnant, including vomiting, weakness, and headache. She says when she asked for a newer bus or a desk job. I was told we don't accommodate pregnant women and was put on an unpaid leave of absence. No source of income, no way to pay my rent. No way to provide food to my child. When she got back from maternity leave, she says she had to lactate in a cramped, dirty conference room filled with boxes. She says her pay was cut and the stress of it all made her unable to breastfeed. AC Transit um, caused me to dry up from stress. In a statement, AC Transit says it complies with pregnancy and accommodation laws. Quote, we also individually work with our new mothers to integrate their lactation needs into daily work schedules. But these women say it feels like the transit agency was working against them. It's a punishment. I feel like I'm being punished to have a kid. In Oakland, Kristen Ayers on the Night Beat.